Okay, in this uh, one, we're going to do another phase shift, and it's y equals cosine of x plus pi over u, uh, 8 units. That means we're, we're, our normal cosine would go where? 0 to 2 pi, wouldn't it, here together? That's the typical uh, basic wave that you graph, but we're going to move it over pi over 8 units. Now, how do I establish that pi over 8 correctly? Well, look, this is 2 pi, right? This has got to be pi. This has to be pi over 2. This is pi over 4. So half of pi over 4 is pi over 8. It's just a little bit like this. It's about right here. There's p minus pi over 8. Okay. And what I like to do is, is draw a fake y-axis here when I translate sometimes. And, um, and of course with the cosine we had a uh, uh, at vertical asymptotes. But I'm calling this y hat. This is not a vertical asymptote. It's just that I'm showing that it just moved over pi over 8 units. So it's going to move over this way too. Notice by putting a little 2 pi there I establish the scale. And that gives me a pretty accurate view of how much pi over 8 is because I cut it in half pi over 2, uh, pi over, um, I'm sorry, pi, pi over 2, pi over 4 and I can figure out what pi over 8 would be. Of course this is uh, 16 pi over 8 so this has to be 15 pi over 8, right? Because 2 pi equals 16 pi over 8, right? It reduces to 2 pi. So one less than that has to be 15 pi over 8. Notice I've established these two here. Now there's one in the middle. I, I look at this and I just visualize the middle, okay? And all I have to do to find the middle of between two points is take negative pi over 8, add it to 15 pi over 8. That gives me 14 pi over 8. Half of that is 7 pi over 8. So I know this is 7 pi over 8. All I did was add the two endpoints together and divide by two, and that gives me my midpoint. And I can find more midpoints if I wanted to, but I think that's probably enough increments to get us going. Now, what I know, it's just a normal cosine, so it's, I've got four, one, two, uh, see, I've got, I've got my one, two, three, four increments divided it up. I'm going to start here. This is one, and this is negative one. And then it goes down like this, and it's going to go down, hit down here, isn't it? It's the normal cosine wave, except instead of being right here, it's just been moved over exactly negative, uh, pi over 8 to the left, which is in the opposite direction of the sine. If you wanted to find this midpoint, you would take negative pi over 8, add it to 7, and you'd get 6 pi over 8. Half of that is 3 pi over 8. Same here. I take 7, and I get... Um, I add that and I get uh, 22 pi over 8. This is 11 pi over 8. You can get all four increments if you like. I usually only ask for the basic one, the first, last, and middle, but there it is with all of them. And let me make this look a little better. It actually goes like this. Here it is. That looks a little nicer. Now, of course, we know it goes on forever in this way, manner. But if you put this fake y axis and you, you establish a 2 pi and moves over, you could look at this and say, oh, well, this looks like the cosine that's been moved over uh, pi over 8 units. Therefore, it's x cosine of x plus pi over 8. In other words, I could look at this and go back to this uh, equation.